Violence has broken out at the giant jungle migrant camp in the French town of Calais, with the camp's demolition planned for today. The site, now home to up to 10,000 migrants, has been taking in up to 80 new refugees a day. Around 1,500 live in relatively good condition in new containers. However, many others are still stuck in makeshift tents and shacks. RT's Harry Fear reports. Last night there was violence as it has become the norm here uh, beside the infamous jungle camp. Some of the migrants throwing projectiles at stones and bottles at police who then responded in kind, of course, with tear gas. So this is meant to be D-Day for the slum-like camp. These are meant to be its final hours, and thousands of officers have been drafted in to deal with this clearance operation that authorities are calling a humanitarian operation. At least several thousand, if not 10,000, some estimate, is now the total population of the camp. So what to do with uh, such a number of people when the camp is cleared. Well, President Hollande has a plan. We intend to dismantle the Calais camp entirely and relocate people throughout France to small centres with 40 to 60 people staying for a limited period of three or four months. This will happen in full coordination with the migrants. So the plan then, as you heard there, to relocate uh, those migrants, dispersing them in refugee centres uh, around France, offering them the chance to claim asylum. If they don't take it, they will be deported. And that is those that accept to board. There's something like 60 coaches that will take them from the camp to these centres around France. But not everyone is thrilled by this idea. And there have already been local protests around France by those angry residents. Uh, really, their message has been, not in my backyard. We are against the choice of the place for security reasons. The problem is not to distribute migrants across the country. The problem is that French people don't want them anymore. The French don't want immigration. This is a reality. What will migrants do here? They don't learn French, we don't teach them the values of the Republic, and even on the health side, we're not able to treat them correctly. But locals here in Calais are also not happy too, and the fears and of some that this is meant to be the final hours and days of the camp, but it feels like indeed to some that it might not be. And of course, there is also a large number of those in the camp who don't want to go on these coaches and go to these refugee centres. And in fact, some research from refugee groups uh, suggests that something like two thirds will not go on these coaches and one third, well, they want to stay in Calais. Well, thousands have been gathering across the country to protest uh, that against the government's plan to relocate immigrants. Uh, locals are voicing anger over the decision to build refugee shelters in their towns. We heard from Claude Rocher, professor at the Institute of Public Management, about the situation in Calais. There is a political project be behind the human humanitarian side of the problem. Human side, of course, is the problem of migrants without all they lose their home and so on. But um, the project of the mainstream political uh, parties is to transform the French society into a multicultural society. And France is not a multicultural society. When you have multiculturalism, it's always fight and wars. There is this political, uh, it's, it is a political project. That's why you have demonstrations in, uh, in the small uh, village against the coming of the migrants.